knowing that she spent 10 years working on C-130s, I asked her if she wouldn't mind being my crew chief in Thailand. And yes, hands down, instantly, of course I'll be there. Um, my background is in C-130s, so this is quite a bit different. Um, but it's really, my dad's a great teacher. He's a great instructor. He's taught a lot of the guys here. He's like a staple. So it's, it's good to learn from the guy, you know, that everybody goes to. Knowing or being a crew chief in here for almost 18 years now, you have to have that, that feeling with your pilot. You, you have to trust your pilot. Your pilot has to trust your crew chief. Otherwise, you've got that little nagging in the back of your head. Did they do this? Did they do that? And I know if I tell her, say, oh, here's what we need to do, I don't have to go back and double check it or worry if she did it right because she has worked on big aircraft. I've obviously got his best interest at hand too. You know, I don't need him having an incident up there in the air or anything like that. So I'm definitely the number one person, I think, to make sure that he gets home safe. This is my rookie year racing and being a part of Air Race One is huge in itself because I've been a part of it since day one. And even then, it's like, you know, yeah, I want to race. I want to be here with my buddies in the air instead of turning wrenches and doing all that. I want to race. And finally, it, it happened. And it, it, to me, it's just, it's a huge privilege to be with these people that they're, they're my family, my friends. So it, it's just, I mean, almost indescribable how I feel about being able to work with them and race with them.